What up there YouTube, Mossman Vapes back at you again. This time I'm going to be reviewing another Ritofo wire. This is Ritofo's dual cord fuse clapton wire. This is a this is their fuse clapton of 28 dueled with 38. Uh, all their wire is uh, Nichrome 90. I looked it up. There is no really no can I couldn't find any canthal wire. So this is all Nichrome 80. So anybody who is allergic to nickel, uh, unfortunately cannot vape this, and I do apologize for that. But, for all those who can vape nichrome wire, as you can see, this wire is relatively small. Comparing it to uh, other wires, you can, in my, from my previous reviews, uh, definitely one on the smaller end of the spectrum. Uh, this wire is actually, believe it or not, because you would think with very thin wires, it'd be on the springy side, but it's actually not. Uh, definitely, I'm actually quite impressed with this one. This one is small, yet not very springy. And I'm actually, and it also could be because it's nichrome, and nichrome, as we all know, is very moldable, very soft wire. Um, unlike the canthal which is more on the stiffer side but yeah very it's easy to wrap uh, I wrapped it I believe nine or ten times so it's this is about a nine ten wrap I put on the twisted messes 24 pro series RDA uh, on a three millimeter bit it came out to a point Got to a 0.41. I got it at 85 watts. Kind of show you a little bit here. Not crazy, but it definitely is giving off a good, a good amount off the coils. But let's check out the uh, vapor production. Not bad. Let's crank it up a little bit, shall we? And I am running this on the Maxo 315 by iJoy. So, there we are. I got it at 100 watts now. Still ringing at a 0 0.41. Let's reduce it. So, this is at 100 watts. A little bit more, a little more rowdy. So let's check this one out. Let's check this out. A little bit warmer, a little bit better. Um, and that was at six point four volts. So, what do I think about this? Honestly, as you can see. The wire is actually pretty clean. Let's see if I can get the focus. Come on, focus. You can kind of see it there. The wire is actually very, very clean. Um, I don't see any gaps in the clapping wire. I uh, don't see any kinks in the core. And again, that can vary on how you pull on pulling it out. As you see here, there is a slight kink right there. And that's just for me pulling it. So the wire is actually very, very clean. It's a little bit springy, but not much. Um, when you wrap it, give it, give it like I did in the previous videos, give it that little bit of a tug. And this is actually not bad wire. Um, for me, in my opinion, it is a bit on the small end and the higher higher resistance. Um, yeah, I can pump a good amount of power, as as uh, you can probably see here. 100 watts is around the six volt range. Let's see if I can get this to focus. You can't see it, but it's re it's that last hit I took at 100 watts was 6.39 volts. Um, <clears throat> 
in my opinion, for me, this is not a an ideal wire for me. Um, but for somebody who likes to vape at a higher resistance and possibly on, and a lower wattage, this actually could be a very good one for you. Um, this one was, I believe, twelve thirteen nine nine. Uh, 20 feet, it says right there, 20 feet, which 12, 13, 14 bucks for 20 feet of wire, that's actually not bad in my opinion. Um, if you're, so, like I said, if you're somebody who wants to, who, or, who, or someone who is into the smaller wires, the higher resistance, um, lower wattage possibly, or high voltage, or high volts, um, it's it could it could actually I can see this being for somebody like that. Definitely a very a clean wire. Um, I will I do also say that when I wrapped it and installed to and installed it into the Tristan Mesa 24, there were quite a few hot spots, um, but they were easy to work out. Um, it might have been from that 30 uh, 38 gauge. Uh, I've noticed that with thinner wires, you tend to get a lot more hot spots, but they were they weren't hard to get out. Um, it does take a little bit of time to get them out, but that could just could be me. Somebody could have better luck with it as far as getting the hot spots out. But uh, yeah, def I would say for someone who is into the higher resistance, uh, possibly someone who wants to build higher resi higher resistance in order to run higher voltage in on their devices, that is definitely for someone or someone who is into series build series builds. This could be something for you. Um, definitely worth definitely worth a go check it out. Um, I don't really see myself vaping it, but to each his own. Everyone has different tastes in this industry, so someone who someone out there will be into this. Um, definitely check it out, guys. Definitely, definitely check this wire out. It it's um it be it's a it's a good wire. It, for me, it's not, but. I'm thinking more about everybody, and there, and I'm, I'm confident there's somebody out there who would definitely like to check it out. And if you're one who likes to build uh, high resistance or basically for a series box, definitely go check it out, guys. Um, I'm making this one quick, but uh, hopefully, uh, I showed you showed you enough of the wire. And I know there's not much to review in these, but uh, definitely, I'm doing this to kind of show people like, hey. Uh, there's spools of wires, pre-made coils of intricate wires or exotic, more exotic wires um, to check. To, you can get and, you know, have better flavor or better vapor uh, production. So, yeah. Definitely go check this out, guys. I actually do recommend recommend it for anybody into the higher, resist, higher resistance. So, yeah, that does it for this video, guys. Um, I got a couple more uh, videos that will probably be coming up in the next uh, couple days, maybe even over the next week. So, and bear with me because I still work a full-time job. So I won't have a whole lot of time, but I'm definitely going to try to get some videos out there. Um, but yeah, um, you can uh, find me on Instagram. You can find me on, uh, or if you know who Trucking Vapes is, uh, you can usually find me in the chat on his shows or on the show itself. Uh, bullshitting with him, Kimmy Vapes, um, Willow. So, yeah, definitely something to look at. Um, by the way, go check out Truck and Vapes. Go check out Kimmy Vapes. Um, if anybody who's into Insta Instagram, uh, go follow my good friend Shayna in Black. Uh, she's an amazing individual. She's an amazing person. So, please go follow her if you're into. Instagram photo, uh, Instagram and all that. She does some, some amazing photos. So yeah, guys, that does it for today. Hope you all have a great Sunday. Monster Man Vapes, signing off. Peace out.